Hi, I'm Stephen Hay from Archery Supplies, and today we're going to look at the Sand Leader Hero 10. Now, a bit of background between of Sand Leader. Sand Leader is a Chinese company, and I think I was kind of the distributor at some stage in Australia. I'm not having a go at the Chinese manufacturer, Sand Leader, but I think I was the distributor. But then they decided to sell to other people in Australia. I think is the way it went, and I'm talking about one bow and. I was like, what's the use of me promoting this product or your products when you sell to the other guy down the road and sell him one product? So then they then they gave it to another guy who's in his backyard and gave him exclusive and I wasn't I couldn't buy. So to start off with, I can't buy this bow, but I like seeing new products. So I purchased this product to show you to see how it compares the American products to the Chinese products and all that sort of stuff now before I did this review I did a little bit of research to see if I could find the price of this bow anywhere in the world and I found it really really hard in fact the exclusive Australian distributor for this product he actually didn't have any in store and he's only an eBay store now with I think four bows in stock what it looked like on his eBay site there was a guy in Melbourne who had a price on one which was 1200 Australian dollars. I couldn't find any of these bows in around the world so I couldn't find any in America. Now maybe I didn't look enough but I couldn't find any. I did contact San Leader. I didn't get a response um, to my questions about the price and what it sells for. So because I think it's important to know the price of a product before you have it but anyway this is what it looks like the box um, now there's a whole bunch a whole bunch of um, Asian Chinese archers shooting this bow and doing really really well which is why I was kind of interested and I was interested also from the point that toe point archery produced a top line target bow so I was interested to see how the San Leader target bow compares to the toe point target bow and how that compares to the US products so now San Leader produce recurve, target recurves, hunting recurves, crossbows and now I believe they're getting out of the crossbows because they've signed some agreement with an American with an American company and they will produce all the crossbows for an American company under the American brand so it's a bit of background on the company um, so price point on this bow 1200 Australian dollars is what another shop sells it for. I did a rough calculation on what I would sell it for. Um, now it comes in a whole heap of colours. Comes with this in the bottom. Now I don't know anything about this, this is me just There was no manual in here. These kind of look like modules. Anyway, let's open this up. So they come in a whole bunch of um, colours. Now Sunlead is doing some release aid and target sights and arrow rests. And before they were kind of not cheap Chinese, they were kind of aimed at the more sort of top end Chinese. Um, product so not the price of an American product so here's the bow now these limbs look like the American limbs um, they look like an American glass limb these limb pockets are metal that's just gone over my neighbor's fence which has been unfortunate um, the machine riser looks nice this uh, finish here looks very much like the toe point so you can see it's a shoot through riser the grip feels nice at the back here it feels feels very much like a PSE feels a bit narrower than a PSE so maybe it feels more like the Hoyt Invicta um, the grip it has two lower stabilizer points here which is quite nice the machining the edge on here feels quite sharp and I think it should have been rounded dampeners here these dampeners are very much like the Matthews but they instead of having a weight in the middle it's fully rubber um, the wheels this is a hybrid um, cam system very much like your Hoyt 
So you've got a yoke at the top and a one cam down the bottom. Now you've got a limb, uh, sorry, cable stop here. This is very much like your point. Um, and it detaches very much like your point. Draw length is adjustable. Oh. Sorry, I'm like, I'm working out how this bow works. So you've got a rotating kind of, no you don't, you don't have a rotating module, I thought you did. What you've got is you've got a replaceable module. So this module detaches, so it's very much like a Hoyt. So with the PSC shoot through risers that you'll see on, <laughs> I was watching the plastic over my neighbor's fence, um, that you see on the PCs are rotating. This is very much like the Hoyt um, Invicta. Um, where the you know, Hoyt prevail where you just put the module on that you want um, now you don't need a bow press to do that you can see it's just two module screws there um, the weight the bow's a little bit the graphics look really nice on the San Leader Hero on the limbs look to me it's a nice looking bow um, Let's just try the draw cycle. It comes in 40, 50, 60, maybe even 70 pounds and a whole bunch of colors, um, different draw lengths. So, now I'm learning a bit about this. So this is a 50 to 60. Um, it says on the box, this is adjustable from 29 and a half to 32. So it must have different modules. Now I know there's a shorter version and I think the shorter version goes 29 downwards and I'm pretty sure I got this bow in a whole bunch of different colors and different draw lengths um, but I don't think there's that crossover like there is you know with the PSE has got the big range it's more like the Hoyt which has the this draw length and then this draw length section so but let's just try the draw cycle the strings the strings look a little bit disappointing I kind of wanted to, to try it I think they should have a roller slide here this this looks like a Hoyt Invicta um, where you can change the angle of the cable slide um, now I know San Leader have got their own patents and rights I don't know who they pay what for and who pays what for but I know there's a whole debate in America about this company and patents when they're advertising it and yeah so Anyway, that this looks like a Hoyt Invicta. Um, it feels rather nice. I kind of like the feel of it. I think it looks pretty good too. So let's just try the draw length. Oh. Okay, it's a very <laughs> this bow's going to be fast. It's very it's very hard all the way through. So even from here, as I'm drawing back, now I'm getting to the valley there very small very small valley so it feels like a weight to draw it feels like a weight to draw it's so much like a weight it's crazy absolutely crazy I was expecting it's going to be like a PSE but it was it's not it's like a weight god that's funny um, machine pockets machine here now the question is what how is this going to compare in price i think so the hoyt invicta in australia sells for about two thousand four hundred dollars this one right now in the only shop i can find it on in in, in australia sells for about twelve hundred i think i'm going to sell it for a thousand bucks how's that compare so it's more expensive than the top of the range toe point stronghold reliance but it's got a shoot through riser shoot through risers cost a lot more to produce it's got different cam systems than the reliance it's a lot harder to draw cycle than the alliance um look at these what do they look like <laughs> Uh, yeah anyway um, these are nice here this is what the limb bolt goes into but it'd be nice I'm bet under this sticker here you'll be able to see how much limb bolt you've got left I'd like to see that exposed although it looks nicer like this um, 
the colors that Sandalita come in are really nice. So this is really aimed at the price point in the market at $1,000. That's about $1,000. Now, in Europe and all that, where you're gonna see these bows and maybe in America, if US shops are gonna stock them, I don't know if US shops will stock them. I don't know if Donald Trump stopped all imports of Chinese bows into America. I don't know. But these are going to be really price comparable. Like, they're going to be like, do I spend two and a half thousand or do I spend a thousand dollars on this? Two Allen keys here to bolt this um, onto the bow. That's impressive. Um, what do these cams look like? They're all metal. Um, they have roller bearings, which is same as everyone else look it's string stop here string stop here now what I find interesting about this is the Americans often often on their bows they'll have rubber and you'll see Bomar produce these and they just make them out of full steel and make them bigger where it appears to me like Santa Lita have done this straight out the box um, to give that nice solid draw cycle um, I don't know if you like this finish, which is, you know, it's kind of rough here, but it's definitely a texture style. And I know San Lita, San Lita, I know Toe Point gave it this finish also on their bows. Overall, I think it's a stunning looking bow for a thousand dollars. I think San Lita, San Lita, multiple sight positions, only one one hole on the riser should be two San Lita when you produce it. And I know your boss doesn't speak English. Um, now what's also interesting on the San Lita, these bushings look really nice. Um, look, you've got one here and one here. This must be for string stops, but you haven't included them. That's interesting that you haven't, because that would deaden the feel of the bow and make it better when you're comparing the American product to the Chinese product. So I'm pretty sure that's what that hole is, and this is what this hole is here for string stops. But you haven't included it, which I find very interesting. There might, there'll be a reason for that, I don't know what it is, but I'm... <laughs> this is very good. Um, I'm going to do a review on one of these bows and we're going to open up the rest of them to show you what they look like in another video. Um, oh look, I like the way they've machined out this here. This looks nice. Overall, I think San Lita, I was selling San Lita about 10 years ago before we had the divorce. Um, they've come a long way, I think, and I think that, you know, the recurves are looking really good. Um, the accessories are starting to look really good. And they've really moved from that budget Chinese producer to really a high quality product. So when I see Chinese shooting this bow, this is the first one I've ever touched and felt. When I see the Chinese shooting big scores with these bows, and I look at the bow, I'm like, no wonder. It is so comparable to the <laughs> Invicta. Oh, Hoyt would be just, oh wow. I was wondering about these patents and all that. like. I don't know what the deal is with the patents. I don't know what the deal is with importing these into America. But boy, they would be comparable. I think without having shooting this bow, this would be such a comparable bow to shoot. I'm Stephen Hare from Archery Supplies. Um, enjoy your Christmas and have a great 2021. Thanks for watching. Bye.